We've got a few minutes left on the show. There's no other breaking news, I'm pleased to say. Uh, and it's time for Barrage the Farage, where you send your questions in and I do my very best cold to answer them. Joe asks me, do you think UEFA... Oh, I'm pleased Tony stayed. Do you think UEFA should stop Russia hosting the Champions League final? Yes, 100%. I think, you know, we've got to take a stand with things and there's certain things we can do from a sporting point of view. Yes. You cannot have the Champions League final in Russia. It's got to be moved. Whether it's Wembley or wherever, just put it somewhere else in Europe. I'm with Tony. I am pleased you stay. <laughs> <laughs> Ian asks, do you think this government will ever be radical and actually cut red? I think tape, perhaps, was missing off the end of that. Um, look, I did hear today that the UK insurance industry are in talks with the government and they're talking about a very major EU directive that has, that's held insurance companies back very, very badly. There are now at least active discussions to try and help Britain's businesses and get the benefits from Brexit that we deserve. Big changes bring upsides and downsides. Moving house brings an upside and a downside. We need more of the upside. Terry asks, do you agree that Canada... I know better than China, Russia, North Korea and other repressive regimes. I think, I have to say, I think that Trudeau is one of the most appalling leaders any Western world country has ever had. He masquerades as being this lovely, cheery, wonderful liberal and actually has behaved in the most appalling authoritarian way. I'm pretty disgusted. Mickey asks, people are sick to death of the mantra, protect the NHS when the NHS is not protecting them. Is it time to remove GPs from the system? Now, you can't remove GPs from the system, but you could make GPs start to see patients again. That wouldn't be bad, would it? Um, and I think there is a very major health crisis coming to this country. I was worried about it even before the pandemic struck. But now the backlogs, six million, six million people in England and Wales alone waiting for operations. It's going to be a huge task for any government to turn this around, and it's going to need not just money, but a completely different approach. And I'll be doing a health special, an hour-long health special, tomorrow here on GB News. I'm going to pre-record it this evening after this show. Robert asks, should universities refund money to students for failing to provide a satisfactory teaching programme? It is an outrage. They've been ripped off terribly. Uh, and, of course, the student loans, they have to pay vast 6% interest on it. The whole thing is disgusting. Uh, I really, universities should be hanging their heads in shame. 